Hello drivers, hope you're doing well out there. We're going to do a short tutorial for you on Qualcomm. We've been having some trouble with uh, folks leaving their uh, on duty time all night long. Also, we want to make sure that you're going to log out anytime that you're on the yard or if you're doing your 34 hour break. Because if someone drives your truck while you're logged in, we are not able to get rid of that drive time. So be sure and log out whenever you get here on the yard. So here's Kim. She's going to show us how to do a few things on the Qualcomm. When you log back into your truck after you've been on the yard, you need to give your logs time to update. And once you, they have updated, um, this should pop up if your truck has been moved at all. It says, please review all assigned, unassigned driving events. So you're going to hit that next button. And it has all of these, this driving event. So you're going to go to the driving event right there. And you're going to reject that. And the reason why is going to be yard. And all you have to do is type the word yard in there. Get rid of your keyboard. Save it. And that gets you done. The other thing, if you'll notice, this DOT clock is minus 8 hours and 17 minutes. So I have a feeling this driver may have left themselves on duty all night. Let's just go check that real quick. Yeah, their 14 hour clock is the one that's negative. So we're going to go to our certify tab. Now he left himself on duty for 9 hours and 24 minutes. That's on today's date. We're going to have to go to yesterday's date in order to edit that. So the first thing we got to do is go to that date. We're going to click on that on duty segment of time. We're going to hit edit. We're going to change that to sleeper berth. You also have to put a remark in, just like when you're changing your duty status on the status tab. Get rid of your keyboard. Hit next. The reason for the edit is just you are making a correction. So correct or correction, whichever you'd like to type and then save it. Edit confirmed. Yes, we want to certify. And now his DOT clock has a full eight hours. I agree. And now we're going to go back to our summary tab just to check. So now you can see he has a full 8, 11, 14, and 70 on his summary tab. The other thing we want to show you is one, make sure this will pair SB button. You want to make sure that that always has a green check mark in it. Okay. What that does is it allows you to extend your 14 hour clock um, if you have to stop during the day. And on top of that, make sure that you always put yourself in sleeper berth when you go to bed at night, even if you're on your 34 hour break at home. One other thing we wanted to show you real quickly is how to get to personal conveyance on your Qualcomm. So it's under off duty. You would just check personal conveyance. You notice the OK button is not lit up. There must be a remark in there things that you can use personal conveyance as safe haven for is you were made to move during your break or you were either out of time at the shipper and you had to move to park. So in this instance we're just going to say out of time at shipper, get rid of our keyboard and say okay. And it puts us into personal conveyance. Make sure you don't move your truck until you see that word personal conveyance there. And hopefully that gives you all a little insight on some things that you can fix on your own or how to get rid of that unassigned driving time. Thank y'all very much. All right, thank you, Kim, for that. Uh, that's some good information for y'all out there. This stuff you can change yourself, save you a lot of trouble, save you a lot of time. You don't have to call us. That way you can take care of it. If you have problems, if you have questions, give us a call. We'll be glad to walk you through it. But this will help you out if you'll learn how to do that. It'll save you some time. Thanks so much, and stay safe out there.